Do you need some cards from today's episode? Well, you can pick them up and support the show from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So this week, we are ready to bother to play Neoform, but you probably remember a couple of weeks ago, we played Neoform in a all-in turn one combo deck. This is a very different deck. In fact, this deck, Neoform Evolve, kind of looks like a budget magic deck we used to play with Pelt Collectors and Experiment Ones and Pongifies to kill and dying creatures, but Neoform is an amazing new addition, does everything the deck wants, lets it tutor up some silver bullets, so I'm excited to try this one. Uh, if you remember the Neoform deck from before, this deck is very different. Not even in the same universe as the Grizzlebrand Neoform deck we played, so I'm excited to give this deck a shot. So, like usual, gonna do a super quick two-minute refresher deck deck, just so you know what's going on. Jump right into the gameplay, see if Neoform Evolve can actually compete in modern. Before we do, a super quick reminder, if you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be so sweet of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Neoform Evolve, starting with kind of the core of the deck. So this deck, we've played Budget Magic versions before. We're looking to use Pongify and Rapid Hybridization, uh, blue commander removal spells. It kills something, but put a 3-3 ape or a frog lizard into play uh, aggressively. So what we're trying to do is play like Young Wolf Strangler, Young Wolf Strangler guys, Voice Resurgence, creatures that get better arguably, when they die, pongify them to get a 3-3 out of the deal and get back our young wolf. Bigger. Strangle root. Bigger. Voice of Resurgence is a token. And then, as we are killing our own stuff, making 3-3s, growing our undying creatures, we're also growing our evolved creatures. Cloudfin Raptor, Experiment 1, Pelt Collector, all get bigger whenever a creature with bigger power or toughness enters the battlefield. Pelt Collector, when it dies as well. So all of a sudden, our 1-drops are turning into 3-3s and 3-4s and 4-4s and 4-5s. So they get really big, really fast and let us kill our opponent. Then we have the Neoform plan, and Neoform is another way we can get value out of our Undying Creatures and Voice Resurgence. We sack them for free, essentially, because they're coming back into play even more powerful, and we get to tutor up either just more aggressive creatures, sack a Young Wolf, get a Strangle Root, go attacking or whatever, or we can grab some sweet one of Sadisi's Faithful for removal, Deputy of Detention, gets rid of all copies of anything if we sack a 2-drop like Strangle Root, guys. Renegade Rallyer, really sweet off Neoform, we, like, sack a 2-drop, get a Rallyer, get back the 2-drop, that's, like, doubly free, and then we have Avatar Resolute just as a big beater, and Evolution Sage, one of the sweetest one of tutor targets because most of our creatures end up with counters, so we can use our Neoform, grab Evolution Sage, and then after you Evolution Sage, like, play a fetch land, crack a fetch land, double trigger proliferate, grow all of our team plus two plus two permanently, and hopefully just kill our opponent with a big attack. Mana base-wise, one Dryad Arbor, so we can draw in our opening hand to be really sad. Really, it's to tutor out with our fetch lands and Neoform if we need to, but mostly, we're gonna draw and it's gonna get Lightning Bolt and we're gonna cry. Horizon Canopy to churn through our deck, a bunch of fetch lands, some shock lands, some fast lands and basic lands. In the sideboard, we get a bunch more tutor targets. Reflector Mage for creature matchups, Scavenger Use for Graveyard Hate, Knight of Autumn kind of does a little bit of everything, Geist of St. Traft to fight through removal, have a fast clock, Gaddick Teague, Eidolon to shut down combos, even Mind Sensor for searching, Lavinia for Tron, Kataki to shut down artifact decks, and then a few non-creatures. So we can't tutor these up, but Dampy's Fear for Tron and Storm and other combo decks, Evolutionary Leap to fight through grindy removal heavy matchups, A Path to Exile, and and that is Neoform Evolve for Modern. And that's our bunch of brew deck for this week. So let's take this deck out for a spin. See if the addition to Neoform in a bunch of silver bullet tutor targets is what it takes to make the Pelt Collector Pongify archetype actually legit in Modern. So before I do, another really quick thing. I'm getting long-winded with this deck deck. But remember, as you're watching this, the old Pelt Collector Pongify deck, and I, I will have it pop up on screen so you can see the old versions if you'd like to. The problem with those decks is while they can be very fast, they're just all in aggro decks. So if our opponent can anger the gods or something, our day is ruined. So what we're really looking for here is how much does Neoform solve the problem? Like, does Neoform give us game 
in matchups that otherwise, with the older builds of the deck, we really couldn't fight through consistently. So that's what we're going to be figuring out today. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's see if we can neo form our way to some aggro kills in modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Neoform Evolving. Uh, uh, trying out a a fair aggressive Neoform deck in modern. And uh yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh this hand has five lands, which means we will not keep it. This is a 21 land deck. We want three lands maximum. I don't think we can win with five lands, so we're gonna mulligan. Uh alright. This is actually a lot more reasonable. Avatar the Resolute. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep it on top. See what our opponent's up to. Opponent. Considering their land drop on turn one. Temple of Malice, sure. Uh, so this is probably an unfair reanimator deck. I think all that plays Temple of Malice is, like, Grizzlebrand reanimator decks. Botanicals egged up and Experiment 1. Or something that we have no idea what they're doing. A brew. Experiment 1 goo. Uh, opponent. Definitely a Grizzlebrand reanimator deck. Faithless looting. Through the Beach Cathartic Reunion, plays a land, and passes. Well, Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Temple Garden, untapped. Voice of Resurgence. Go to combat, attack. And pass the turn. Alright, no death. No death, please. Mountain. Faithless Looting. <sighs> so the big question is, what can we... What can we tutor up? Is there anything? Uh, not in the main deck. We have some more stuff in the sideboard. All right, opponent passes. Deputy of Detention. So our three drops we could get. Evolution Sage doesn't really do anything. We have our other two three drops in hand. Hmm. That's not ideal. I mean, I guess we're just playing fair. Avatar the Resolute. Grow our stuff. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Hope that we don't die. There's a Bor Borgamos of the graveyard. Opponent. There's the Gorio's Vengeance for Bor Borgamos. Attacks. Yeah. I mean, we'll take it. If we're dead, we're dead. Reveals no lands. I mean, if our opponent has four lands in hand, we're dead. The bigger issue is we can't kill our opponent while plays a land. Knight's Whisper. Do they really have four lands? That would be amazingly unfortunate. Wow. Seriously? Oh, I have to look this up. I, I have to. Because I don't think this deck plays many lands. 19 lands. They whiffed on Borborgamos, but their hand was five lands? That is... Maybe the least... That is... That is hypergeometric calculator awkward. Huh. Okay. Um, well, I guess we bring in Eidolon and Scavenging Ooze. Go down Evolution Sage. Go to, uh, bring in Gaddic Teague. Go down Avatar the Resolute. Go down Sidisi's Faithful. And try it like that. Huh. So our opponent played a land from their hand. Cast in Night's Whisper, apparently hit land, land off Night's Whisper. The funny thing is, if they didn't have all those lands, they didn't have anything, and we would have won through the Borborgamo set. I guess maybe there's an argument for blocking, but the chances of our opponent having four lands out of four cards is so slim, especially considering the construction of their deck. Huh, well, I mean, spin the wheel. You don't play Grishel Brand because you... Want to play magic? You play it because you want to spin the wheel, and you hope that you get lucky. Um, huh. this is a fine aggro hand, but we have no hate. We're gonna have to mulligan. All right, this this we will try. We have a turn to. We will put voice resurgence to the bottom. We have a turn to scavenging ooze, which could be enough. We will see. Land go. If our opponent has the the nuttiest of nuts, then then turn two scavenging use is not enough. Temple of Malice for our opponent. Like Simeon Spirit Guide Nut Draw. Opponent passing. If we draw a land, we probably don't even play a scavenging use. Deputy of Detention. Well, Misty Rainforest, crack it. Grab a Breeding Pool, untapped. Scavenging use. Grow Pelt Collector. We didn't draw a land, so we got a scavenging use. Go attacking, hit our opponent. Down to 18. And see what happens. 
would have been nice to draw a land that we could have just strangle root attacked next turn scavenging ooze leave up an activation but drawing a lot of our three drops unfortunately oh boy lightning axe discard grizzle brand oh they have the the nuttiest of nut draws as it is all right well yeah good game good game good game i mean that's a draw that scavenging ooze isn't beating anyway so well, that game one was brutal. That one was brutal and a little bit frustrating, but yeah, what can you do? The unfair decks, when they can do unfair things, they do them fast. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are Neoform Evolving, and all right, this hand looks good. We have a good curve. We only have two lands. We have a Neoform to find what we need. So I think we just, let's think about this. Uh, Botanical Sanctum and Cloudfin Raptor. Go. See what our opponent's up to. Next turn we can Strangle Root Geist and attack for three. All right, looks like blue-white control. Celestial Colonnade. Well, let us Temple Garden, untapped. Strangle Root Geist. Grow Cloudfin. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent down to 17. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Opponent. Passing. Well, Misty Rainforest. Crack Misty Rainforest. Grab a Breeding Pool. Untapped. Play Young Wolf. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. All right. Opponent just takes it. Well, Voice of Resurgence. This is probably what gets countered. Ugh, Mana Leak. All right, that's Mana Leak. Pass the turn. Flooded Strand for our opponent. Cracks it. Down to 13. All right, what do you got, opponent? What do you got? Gets a, woo, Spicy Island. And oh, Timely Reinforcements. Come on now, main deck. Main deck the Timely Reinforcements, eh? Opponent passes. Well, play Experiment 1. Neoform. Sack Strangle Root. Get back Strangle Root. Grow Cloudfin Raptor. Grow Experiment 1. Take, hmm, Evolution Sage, grow, grow, Misty Rainforest, proliferate. I mean, this is a big board. If our opponent untaps and rasts, it doesn't do anything, but, yup. Grow the dorks, go to combat, attack, opponent, blocks Young Wolf, blocks Strangle Root. Well, Young Wolf returns. And all right, let's see if they got the wrath. Opponent untaps island well i guess they can have cryptic to tap down our team for a turn crack misty take a dryad arbor proliferate untap uh, we don't want to play things into cryptic go to combat there's the cryptic to stay alive well strangle root go do they have the wrath ops main phase uh, probably looking for a white source to wrath to the bottom Serum Visions. Oh, we might have this. I mean, this has got to be lethal, right? There's the white mana. Opponent passing. No cryptic mana. Opponent passes. Windswept Eve. Proliferate. Boy, this team is getting big. Evolution Sage is going off. Go to combat. Attack with everything. That's a 6 7 Cloudfin Raptor. Opponent. Well, crack Windswept Eve. Hollowed Fountain. Tapped. Proliferate. Path to Exile, Snagar Forest. Runs out a Snapcaster for chump blocking purposes. Yup. Blocks and blocks. An opponent is dead. Whoo! And that is the power of Evolution Sage. That was probably the best example of the power of Evolution Sage. That was great. So good. All right. So Gaddick Tegan, that was very impressive. Gaddick Tegan, Geistin. Leap in, ooze in. Go down, Sidisi's Faithful. Go down, Avatar the Resolute. Go down, Apongify. And wow, that was that was a very impressive Evolution Sage game. I am very impressed. And huh, I guess go down one Rapid Hybridization. Maybe we go four Pongifies this matchup. All right, <laughs> let's do that again. Evolution Sage was insane that game. It's nice to be able to draw lands and have them do something with Evolution Sage out. Hmm. All right. Slightly awkward, but we'll keep it. You never really want to draw Dryad Arbor. 
Hollered fountain tapped. Opponent. Passing. <laughs> yep. Dried Arbor go. <laughs> yeah, that's not something you want to do with this deck. No, no, no. Opponent. <laughs> oh, island. And. Passing. A player rising canopy. Play pelt collector. Play experiment one. Pass the turn. Oh boy, we are very susceptible to a wrath. Bone it. Oh! Also very susceptible to blast zone. To fairy. Ticks up to fairy. And passes. There's botanical sanctum. Hmm. What is our best line here? There's a blast zone. That's gonna kill both of these. I think we just green white. Voice of resurgence. Grow our dorks and kill Teferi. Teferi down. Blast zone still around and potentially devastating. Well, yeah, there's a land. Leaving up that blast zone mana. Opponent. Passing. Well, go to combat. Attack. Wow. Settle the wreckage. Interesting. All right. Hmm. 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 Okay. That is. Bad and not 100% expected. Grab a forest. Play Pelt Collector. Scavenging use. This really opens us up to a second Wrath. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess we're going to lose a lot of those to Blast Zone anyway. Field of Ruin. Jace. Okay. Brainstorms with Jace. Maybe trying to set up a Terminus. Opponent passing. Jace is at three. Hmm. All right, go to combat. Jace, 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 opponent. Opponent's going to path our elemental. Jace dies. Yeah, I think we just pass. I don't think we can play more into this blast zone. No terminus. That's good. Opponent ops to the top. And passing? Well, eat the path. Eat the op. Untap. Go to combat. Attack, attack, attack. Opponent takes it. Play Horizon Canopy. Pass the turn. Alright, so... Sack Horizon Canopy. No lands left to find. Yep. Opponent gets a land. Untaps. Plays a land. To Fairy. Takes up to Fairy. Well, eat Settle the Wreckage. Eat Field of Ruin. Untap. Go to combat. Attack to Fairy. Opponent has instant speed timely. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Yep. Eh, that's bad news. Well, play a voice of resurgence. Pass the turn. Maybe we should have ran that out pre-combat. Opponent takes up to fairy. Two cards in hand. Path to exile. No land to find. Opponent passing. See if we can draw land. Well, alright. Strangle root geist. Go to combat. Attack. To fairy. Opponent's last card is a good one. Snapcaster. Pass. No lands. Yeah, this is taking a, a pretty bad turn. Opponent passes. Untaps. Takes up to fairy. Uh-oh, they found something else. Opponent passing. We draw. Well, all right. Strangle root guys. Play strangle root guys. Go to combat. Attack to fairy. Opponent blocks strangle root. Sacks blast zone. Pass the turn. Takes up to fairy. Follow up. Monastery mentor. Well, let's see what we draw. All right, there's a breeding pool. Untapped. We got to try it. We got to hope they don't have anything in hand. That's our only realistic hope here. Uh, deputy. Get rid of monastery mentor. Combat to fairy. Oh, all right. To fairy's off the board. Oh, it's not off the board. Teferi's at one. Ugh. Takes up Teferi. Plays a land. Opponent passes. It's a lot of cloud fins. Well, play Evolutionary Leap. Last card, Dovin Veto. All right, well, get Teferi off the battlefield. Hit our opponent. We have more cards in hand, but our opponent has some devastating draws, like Sweepers, to get back Monastery Mentor and get rid of our only real removal spell. Tapping, untapping. Opponent passing. All right, well, I mean, go to combat, attack our opponent, play Cloudfin Raptor, pass the turn. Opponent untaps, 16. 
Serum Visions goes digging. Can we close out this game somehow? One on top. Opponent's passing. We draw. Misty. All right, so we play Evolution Sage. Evolve. Misty. Grow our dorks. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Oh, no. Pass Evolution Sage. All right. Crack Misty. Take a Breeding Pool. Untapped. Grow our dorks. No land to find. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, those are insanely good draws. Okay. Okay, okay. Opponent, another path. And they left a card on top. And we're at six. Pass Deputy. No lands. Opponent takes it. We play Cloudfin Raptor. Well, they left something good on top. You know they did. Opponent's at eight. Untaps. Combat. Gets in. We take it. Down to four. What's the last card? How good is it? Opponent passes. We draw. Rapid hybridization. Interesting. Hmm. Well, go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent blocks. Hmm. Cryptic bounce snapcaster draw a card. Make a monk. So he kills snapcaster. Opponent gets a 3-3. Three, three. And a 1-1, one, one, and their prowess stuff. All right, I think that's what we got to do. We kill Snapcaster. Opponent gets a 3-3. Three, three. Opponent takes the beating. We play Renegade Rallier. No revolt. And it pretty much comes down to this top deck. Pass the turn. What did our opponent draw? Hopefully a land. Hopefully a land. That's what we need. Oh, this is so close. So close. A spell's pretty bad because of Mentor. Opponent, combat. Attacks, attacks. Well, hmm. Block and block. Mentor dies. Field of Ruin. Okay. Opponent. Yup. No lands to find. Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent blocks. Horizon Canopy. Sack it. Cloudfin Raptor. And this is the moment of truth. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. And scoops it up, and we got the win. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my God. Taking down the control deck, and... Huh. That was uh, pretty impressive. Our opponent played a million Planeswalkers, a timely reinforcement, settled us... Wrecked us with Blast Zone, and our deck still somehow won the 16-turn game against the control deck, which, that is pretty impressive. I have to say, this does not seem like a turn 16 deck, but uh, in this case, apparently it was. Hmm. Wow. All right, sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are looking to Neoform Evolve in... Modern and uh, see what this hand looks like. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps it'll work. <clears throat> All right, this hand, this hand's actually pretty sweet. Turn one, young wolf. We have our neo form. Are we getting boggled? All right, noble high arc, the noblest of high arcs. Sure, uh, botanical sanctum, the youngest of wolves. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Pwned it. Are they playing the spiritiest of spirits? <laughs> oh! Which one's the noblest? Nobler. Pwned it. Getting in. Hitting it. Ooh, not getting in. Passing. All right. Well, uh, in that case, Misty Rainforest, crack it. Grab a Temple Garden. Untapped. And. Uh, I think we just voice of resurgence and yeah i mean get in with young wolf i guess if there's a blowout there's a blowout opponent takes it getting rattle chains maybe oh huh not spirits maybe just like naya stuff oh boy all right uh game <laughs> looks like game to me we have a single forest. Huh. That is unfortunate. I 
Did not have Megas to the Moon on my radar. Uh, yeah, okay, pass the turn. I would be surprised if we have any chance now. We only have one basic in this deck, and I'm assuming they only have, like, one Magus of the... We only have one Forest in our deck, basic, and they only have one Magus, I would assume. Tireless Tracker, yeah. All right. Yup. Well, they got us. Was not expecting the Magus of the Moon. Huh. Okay. Boy, we were a turn away from Neoforming into Deputy of Detention to basically just get rid of our opponent's board, but it was not meant to be... And that was brutal. Huh. The sad news is we can't really... Hmm. We can't even really fully play around a Blood Moon since we only have one forest. I mean, we can try to get our basic forest, but all of our things that could deal with Blood Moon take more than green mana. That might be a, a flaw of this deck, actually. It actually seems surprisingly soft to Blood Moon, unless, I mean, I guess we can just get far enough ahead that maybe it doesn't matter, but generally speaking, I guess we go down one Sadisi's Faithful, and let's cut Dryad Arbor. Run it like that. Way well, yeah, get to play first. Hmm. Oh, not the swiftest hand. All right, I guess we try this. Little slower than we'd like, opponent. Deputy of Attention is good, though. Opponent's mulliganing. And we have a little bit of value with Renegade Rallyer. So let's see. Ugh, maybe this hand's good. We'll see how good these double Pongifies are. That is the risk of the Pongifies, is for them to turn into a Wild Nakato, you do need a creature to kill. All right. Um, Botanical Sanctum, go. Opponent. Temple Garden. Tapped. Passes. All right. Play Pelt Collector. Temple Garden. Tapped. Pass the turn. Pal Collector's not a bad draw. Hollowed Fountain. Tapped. And the Noblest of High Arcs. All right. Oh, this is probably a Vanifar deck. That makes sense. Some sort of, like, Vanifar evolution. And they just drew their random... Their random one of Magus of the Moon in game one. They can't be a, a Blood Moon deck with this mana base. Well, Misty Rainforest. Crack Misty Rainforest. Grab our basic Forest. Renegade Rallier. Get back, Misty Rainforest. Get in with Pelt Collector. Opponent down to 18. Pass the turn. Tireless Tracker. And Sacred Foundry. Tapped. Sure. Opponent's passing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we crack. Thin our deck a bit. Get a Breeding Pool. Untap. Well, I guess we Strangle Root Geist. Hollowed Fountain. Untapped. Deputy of Detention. Get rid of Tireless Tracker. Attack with everything, and yeah, we're, I mean, we're just the, the aggro. We are the aggro. Pwn it. Down to 11, past the turn. Stomping grounds, tapped. And there's Vanifar. Pwn it, pass it. Uh, play Horizon Canopy, sack Horizon Canopy. Now uh, let's Pongify Strangle Root Geist. Grow Pelt Collector, get back Strangle Root Geist. Pongify Vanifar, go attacking. Pwn it. Trades with Pelt Collector. Yeah. Drops to five. All right, opponent. What do you have? Needs blockers or rest. Wall of Roots, that is a blocker. Opponent, passing. All right. We draw Young Wolf. I'll well, play Young Wolf. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent's going to path. Okay. No land. Blocks. Blocks. Drops to two. Pass the turn. Can we close it out? Opponent gonna sack their clue to draw a card. Can we finish the game? Will this last Pongify come through? That's the real question. Opponent's thinking it over. Vivian. Okay, that's not super scary. Ticks down Vivian. Opponent. Passing. Well, I mean, Pongify Young Wolf. Combat. Attack. Does that do it? Does it do it? Opponent needs, like, two blockers or removal spell plus one mana blocker. They can flash in creatures because of Vivian. But we have four lethal threats against two blockers, so they need two of something that they can cast with a total of three mana. Okay, another path. Yup. So I get... Oh, we got there. Okay. Oh, just barely. And now we know what our opponent's doing. Which means Aven Mind Sensor is actually really good. And we definitely want it. Um, 
And Sadisi's Faithful is probably worth it as well. Going down what? Maybe one Pelt Collector and one Young Wolf? Yeah, let's let's run it like that. All right, we'll keep this. Cloudfin Raptor. Well, there's the Noblest of High Arcs. Yup. Opponent passing. Now, Botanical Sanctum and Cloudfin Raptor. Pass the turn. Razor Verge Thicket for our opponent. Well, all Roots getting the ramp on. Combat passes. <laughs> More Pongifies, eh? Um, there's not really a great two drop we can evolve into, I don't think. Or Neoform into. Hmm. Yeah, we might just be playing a land and passing, as awkward as that is. Three mana is where our best cards are. Yeah, I mean, Windswept Teeth go, I guess. Opponent untaps. Windswept Teeth. Passing. Well, crack, Windswept Teeth. Grab a Hollowed Fountain tapped. Untap. Uh, breeding Pool tapped. Ugh. Not the best time for the Flood Out plan. Pass the turn. Oh, boy. Opponent. Winds up, Heath. Cracks it. Stop it, grabs. Tapped. Okay. All right. No Collecting Company, no Quarter Calling. That's good. Windswept Heath for our opponent. And maybe we're both flooding out here. Opponent. Getting in. Well, yeah, let's do this. Pongify. Block Noble High Arc. Kill Noble High Arc. Opponent passes. Oh, dear. Sweet Mother of Lands. That is a lot. Many, many. Um, all right, so play a forest. Play Evolution Sage. This deck does seem slightly prone to flooding out. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks one step deep down to 18. Sacred Foundry tapped. Untaps. Forest. Opponent. Passing. Come on, non-land action. Oh, God. All right, Horizon Canopy. Proliferate doesn't do anything. Sack Horizon Canopy. All right, Strangle Root Geist. Now play Strangle Root Geist. <clears throat> Go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks, takes their beats. So now we pass the turn. Next turn, Neoform can be sweet. Next turn, Neoform can be pretty sweet. Opponent. Spell Skite. Okay. Opponent passing. Ooh, Sadisi's Faithful. So I think what we do here is Neoform... Strangle Root Geist. It comes back. We take... Hmm. What do we take? That's a good question. Let's take Reflector Mage. Bounce Spell Sky. Misty Rainforest. Proliferate. Crack Misty Rainforest. Breeding Pool. Tapped. Proliferate. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go to combat. Attack. Okay, village bell ringer. Gives our opponent extra blocker. Blocks, blocks, takes five. Yup. Well, we pass the turn. See what happens. We do have hybridization to fizzle the combo. Opponent. Eternal witness. Okay. Gets back a land. Yup. Hmm, they might have Kiki in hand. Windswept Heath. Opponent. Passing. All right, we untap. Well, play Voice of Resurgence. Temple Garden. Proliferate. Go to combat. Attack with everything. Opponent blocks and blocks and blocks. Drops to two. One, two. All right, let's... Hmm. Yeah, let's just pass. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks to one. Gets a tapped red source for Kiki. Untaps. We might have gotten there. Opponent. Spellskite. So we kill Bellringer. Yup. Okay. Spellskite resolves. I guess we didn't have to do that then with our opponent at one, but that's fine. They're pretty clearly tried to set up the Kiki combo, but that combo doesn't work without Village Bellringer. Yeah, I guess we could have waited. Maybe we should have waited. Opponent. Thinking it over. With the, with the triple red, they were pretty clearly trying to get Kiki set up. That was pretty clearly the direction our opponent was heading. And opponent scoops it up, and that takes care of it. We didn't even need the Sadisi's Faithful. And Neoform Evolve, getting it done against the combo deck. All right. Uh, not bad. This deck is kind of sweet. It's definitely kind of sweet. I like it.
All right. Uh, yeah, not bad. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Neoform Evolving in Modern, and uh, this hand is actually pretty good. We're on the draw, but this hand has explosive potential. Like, turn one, Cloudfin. Turn two, Strangle Root. Turn three, Experiment one, Kill Strangle Root. Yeah, this could work. This could work. The biggest question is actually, do we... Experiment one first or Cloudfin first? Hmm. Experiment one is more damage, but it gets blocked easier. Yeah, I think we're going to Cloudfin. Misty Rainforest, crack it. Grab a breeding pool. Untapped. And Cloudfin. Go. If our opponent's playing green black, they probably have Tarmogoyfs and whatnot, so being able to go over the top seems helpful. Hopefully we don't draw any more lands. We'd prefer no more lands. Also would rather not get Thought Seized here, because we want to play the Strangle Root. Strangle Root is kind of the key to this hand. Blooming Marsh. And there's Tarmogoyf. Yup. Opponent passes. Well, let's Botanical Sanctum. Strangle Root Geist. Grow Cloudfin. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it to 17. Alright, pass the turn. Guild of Guin. <laughs> and... Tarmogoyf part two. And all right. Fatal pushes Cloudfin. That is annoying. Opponent gets in. Hits us. Sanctum. Well, play Horizon Canopy. Play Experiment One. Play Voice of Resurgence. And pass the turn. Kind of out of action, though. Tireless Tracker. Yeah. No land, though. Opponent. Pass it. More lands. Hmm. Well, Windswept Teeth, crack it. Grab a forest. Sack Horizon Canopy. Whoa! Even more lands. Alright, pass the turn. Yeah, that's way more lands than we want. The flood is on. Phone <laughs> it. Tireless Dragger Part 2, but no land. Passes. I'll play Horizon Canopy, another land. Sack Horizon Canopy. Pelt Collector, play Pelt Collector. Pass the turn. We need a Neo form, and we need our opponent to not draw land, I guess. I don't even know. If they draw lands, they get clues and grow Tireless Dragger. If they don't draw lands, they're drawing action. Neither of those are the most ideal. We want Neo form most of all. Scavenging ooze. Okay. Opponent. Passing. Yeah. A play pal collector. Windswept teeth. Go. We got a big board of dorks, but it's a big board of dorks that can't really do much of anything. Opponent. Alright. Yeah. No land to find. Boy, we have drawn a lot of lands. Gets a swamp. Gets some clues. Sure. Opponent. Passing. We draw. Strangle root. Well play strangle root grow the pelt collectors botanical sanctum go oh what we would give for a neo form all right clues come in opponent's gonna draw a lot of cards Kalitas. well now we're gonna have to kill that for sure opponent passing uh, pass the turn actually let's do this now Kill Kalitas. Kalidus. The slack jawed vampire. <laughs> oh no, there's the fetch land. The clues are going to get out of hand. Opponent, combat. No attacks. We draw. Cloudfin. I'll play Cloudfin. I guess that's the way we can attack eventually. Opponent. Fetch land clues. Yeah, these tireless trackers are just. Opponent's going to go off now. Eight clues. Opponent's going to draw their entire deck here and keep growing these tireless trackers. We can block for the immediate future, but... <sighs> hmm. Well, we'll see. Opponent untaps. That's a fetch land. That is the upside of tireless trackers. Clues beget clues beget clues. Forest, clues. Liliana, thankfully not that good. Ticks down. Um... Alright, so we sacrifice Strangle Root Geist. 
Oh, uh, yeah, there's a... There's the news. Sure. I guess it's better than I gave it... Oh, my God. Well, I mean, our opponent's just drawn so many cards. We've just drawn so many lands. Opponent passes. We draw. Strangle root geist. Not helpful. Play it. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Ugh. Opponent's got ten clues. What are we supposed to do? He gets the cloud fin. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I guess we'll play it out. Well, no. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way out of this, honestly. Opponent. Tireless tracker number three. That is infinite trackers. Cracks a clue. Draws the trackers. Inquisition. Well, we will kill a... Oh, I don't even know. I guess strangle root, guys, why we can. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Grow the pelt collectors. Sure. Returns. Evolves. Nothing in hand. We got a big board. Our opponent's board is just bigger. And they have more card draw. Takes up. We discard. Opponent. Passes. All right. Play a young wolf. Pass the turn. Opponent. Cash is in the Liliana. Well, we'll sack voice resurgence. Evolve. Grow our dorks. Opponent. Attacks, attacks. I mean, block? I don't really expect this to work, but... All right. Assassin's Trophy. Well, at least it grows our pelt collectors. Down to seven. It's a land. Opponent's down to one card, but that's deceiving. Because they can draw their whole deck, basically. Deputy of Detention. Well, crack one swept teeth. Temple Garden, untapped. Deputy of Detention. Go after the tireless trackers. Damage has been a bit done, though. Cracks a Verdant Catacomb. Gets a clue up to a million. Sacks a clue, draws cards. Gets a bunch of clues. All right, go to combat. Um, we still, can we even attack? Not really. Oh boy, this is, this is a nightmare. All right, pass the turn. Opponent, sacks a clue, draws a card. Imagine that. Eat something. Yeah, that's why we can't really attack. Opponent just gets to eat our stuff. Clue. Card. Five cards in hand. Clue. Card. Six cards in hand. Land. Clue. Card. Seven card. Six cards in hand. Again, because I played a land. There's the fatal push, and we will scoop it up. All right. Yeah, well, those tireless trackers went off. Not sure what to say other than they literally just went off. Okay, so I guess Path to Exile in, Evolutionary Leap in, Avatar out, Sadisi's Faithful out, go down and experiment one for a scavenging ooze, and I guess Reflector Mage in for an experiment one. Our ground troops don't seem that good at getting through our opponent's board. Well, all right, we'll keep it. Uh, we have our leap. It's probably going to get thought seized, but... Eh, opponent mulligans. Well, breeding pool, untapped, and... Cloudfin Raptor. Go. Verdant Catacombs. Opponent cracks it. Overground Tomb. Tapped. Interesting. Well, Temple Garden, untapped. Play a Young Wolf. Evolve. Pongify Young Wolf. Get back, Young Wolf. Evolve. Get in for three. I mean, the pressure's on! We have eight power on turn two. Opponent out to 16. This is the fast start we were looking for. Land for our opponent. What do you got? Dark Confidant. That's not super scary. Opponent passes. Well, let us play Evolutionary Leap. Windswept Teeth. Crack it. Grab a Forest. Combat. All out attack. Opponent blocks Young Wolf. Sure. Down to 10. Pass the turn. And the aggro start is here. Four is for our opponent. If they try to kill our stuff, we get to turn it into more stuff. Liliana, sure. Takes down. We will sack our monkey. Opponent passes. Well, windswept teeth, crack it. Hollowed fountain, untapped. Voice of resurgence. Voice of resurgence. Attack our opponent. Liliana's not doing anything anymore. 
Pwn it down to seven, and they need something pretty good here. Kalidus is probably the most annoying. Scavenging Ooze, okay. Over on Tomb, untap down to five. Ticks up, discards. A, tireless tracker, too slow this time. Fatal pushes Cloudfin, sure. Pwn it passes. Well, let us Fatal Push Ooze, or Path Ooze. It's Cloudfin gains a life, sure. Combat, attack. Uh, yeah, let's kill Iliana. Kill Iliana, hit our opponent. And pass the turn. And opponent scoops it up, and that's the power of our deck. When our deck does its thing, we can put the pedal to the metal and deal a lot of damage pretty quick. That was... That was our deck, probably the most explosive start that we've had, honestly. That was very, very impressive. Yeah, run it back. No Neoform in that match so far. Or, no, not in that game or in this match, but still getting it done just being aggro. Yeah, all right. I like this hand. Three lands. We can redraw with one of them. Stuff we can play. Opponent. Starts with Inquisition of Kozlek. I assume we lose Strangle Root. Because we have somewhat replaceable one drops. Maybe they take hybridization. Yeah, take strangle root. Makes sense. Well, botanical sanctum and um well, let's start with Cloudfin. Goo. Opponent untaps. Swamp. Dark confidant. Yeah, let's see what we draw. Cloudfin. Uh, play hollowed fountain untapped. Cloudfin Raptor. Pelt Collector. Evolve. Go attacking. Opponent to 19. Dark Confidant, what does they get? It's a land, all right, a swamp. Plays a swamp. Oh, God. Wow, okay. Maelstrom Pulse, that's a good one. Opponent passes. We draw a land. Now play Pelt Collector, play Horizon Canopy. Get in with Pelt Collector. hi ya 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 Opponent's gonna trade off the Dark Confidant. That's probably not a good side. Opponent. Ugh, way more cards than us. Inquisition. Gonna take our hybridization. Uh-huh. Treetop Village. Well, Crack Horizon Canopy. See if we can draw some action. Eh, voice isn't the worst. Temple Garden, untapped. Voice of Resurgence. Opponent's gonna kill our Pelt Collector. Well, Snag a Forest. Pass the turd. See what our opponent's got. Hissing Quagmire. Liliana, the last hope. Takes up on voice. Well, we gotta go for it. Hybridization, kill it, token it, token it. Young Wolf, combat, Liliana, kill it. Pass the turret, put us in one card. Can we find a deal form? What's our opponent's last card? Scavenger Goose, that is a good one. That's gonna grow a lot. Neo form. Ugh, more lands. All right, pass the turn. Can't attack because of the ooze. Opponent gonna grow the ooze. Lots of creatures in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going off. Who? Yeah, that's that's not great for us. Opponent untaps. Draws a Liliana. Getting even better for them. Takes down. Well, we sack Young Wolf. Opponent eats Young Wolf and. Oh, so close. So, so close. Pona has a 6-6 six, six scavenging goose. Can we draw anything relevant? Survey says Pongify. <sighs> Play the land. Pass the turd. So we can Pongify the scavenging goose. And then hope we draw into stuff. Wow. Runner, runner, runner. Okay, well, sure. Uh, that's unfortunate. I feel like we had a chance, but we don't have a chance anymore. What could we draw? Not, I bet we're going to draw a Neoform now that we have nothing to sacrifice. Yeah, we killed the Ooze, but the damage is not done. Opponent's at 25. Their board is bigger than ours. Treetop Village, opponent. Gonna get in for three. We can't do anything about it. We draw. Come on, deck. Be good. <laughs> All right. Sadisi's faithful. Sacrifice it. Bounce the ape token. I mean, I guess that's okay. It's not really 
good, but it's like, okay, pwn it. What do they draw? It's a land. Ticks up. Oh, they get to just beat us down with their lands, though. Opponent's passing. We draw. Experiment one. Well, play experiment one. Pass the turn. Life is hard without drawing Neoform. Opponent. Kalitas. That is bad. Takes up Liliana. Eh, we don't have any relevant cards left. Pet the Exile. Deputy of Detention, I guess, is also decent. Land. Ugh. Pass the turn. Opponent. Field of Ruin. Probably better known as Strip Mind at the moment. Yeah, this has been a, been a tricky one. Opponent takes up Liliana. Looks like they're just trying to ultimate Liliana. Treetop Village, joining the fray. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gets in for a billion. Eh, sure. I don't know what our hope is here. Well, that is a Deputy of Detention. I think it's too late, though. So Deputy of Detention gets rid of Kalidus. Go to combat. Attack Liliana. Hmm. Deputy was a good draw. They can fire up Hissing Quagmire block. Yeah, both at Liliana. There's a Hissing Quagmire. There's the block. Liliana drops to two. Oh, damnation. All right. Well, 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 well. That, uh, that's an interesting one. We saw the power of our deck in game two, but I feel like we have to have that style of draw pretty consistently. I mean, our draw was actually decent this game, but the mouse from Paltz to kill the two cloud fids, if our opponent just had a normal removal spell, ah, I think this would have went differently, but that kind of just snowballed out of control from there. Hmm. All right, well, we tried. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are, ooh, all right. We are Neoform evolving, no Neoform, but we have a a janky fine curve. This ad would love a Neoform. Seriously, it's hard to overstate how much this hand would love a Neoform. It would be so helpful. Young Wolf, go. Or Pongify. Uh, any of those kill our own stuff for value effects would be nice. Blood stained mire for our opponent cracks it. Gets a mountain. Flame blade adept. All right, looks like the hollowest of ones. Sure. Opponent. Thinking. And passing. Oh, well, windswept teeth. Crack windswept teeth. Temple garden. Untapped. Voice resurgence. Go. Voice of Resurgence should be pretty sweet here. Might be able to just outgrow the... All right, Cycles of Street Wraith. Uh-huh. Down to 17. Faithless Looting. Well, how many hollow ones do they have? That is the biggest question. Discards to lands, because Faithless Looting is a good magic card. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Schwamp. And... Oh, are we getting a Grimag Angler? Tassiger. Are there hollow ones? No hollow ones at the moment. Well, we're going to double block. Kill Flame Blade. Get back our... Oh. All right. Get back our stuff. Opponent passes. More lands. Well, I guess it is Voice of Resurgence Part 2. Windswept Teeth. Go. No more lands, deck. No more lands. Give us a Neoform. 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 Uh, I wonder if this deck wants Charticors. I feel like one of the easiest ways we lose is we just, even though we have 21 lands, we flood out. That seems to be a, one of the most common ways that we have found to lose. Opponent, combat, attacks. Well, I mean, let's just upgrade a Voice of Resurgence. Yep. Get a token. Opponent kills a token. Yep. Take zero. Wooded foothills. Well, crack one sub beef. Take a breeding pool tapped. Untap. Ooh. Rallier is pretty sweet. Misty Rainforest. Crack it. Get a Dryad Arbor. Renegade Rallier. Get back Voice of Resurgence. 
combat, all attack, opponent down to nine. Renegade Rallier was a great draw there. Opponent cracks wooded foothills, sure. Blood Crypt tapped at eight. Oh, that Renegade Rallier was so good. Opponent, what do you got? You need some goblin lore. All right, going to do some looting. Discards a Phoenix that can come back, but it has to attack, so it can't block. We have Strangle Root for AC damage. Pona scoops it up. That was a pretty sweet performance. Okay. Opponent, hollow one-ing us. All right. Ooze in. Number one. Gaddic Team, no. Damping Sphere, no. Knight of Autumn, no. Reflector Mage in. Path to Exile, I think, in. Lavinia... <laughs> it kind of shuts down Hollow One. I don't know if that's good enough. Tempted to bring in the Leap, though. Maybe we can Leap? Eh, it might be too slow. All right. So what do we cut is the biggest question. We can go down Avatar of the Resolute. We can go down... Maybe, like, one Young Wolf. One Experiment One. And one, eh, I like, I like ape tokens more than frog lizards. <laughs> so one hybridization, try it like that. This might actually be a pretty decent matchup for us. It felt good in game one. There is a little fear of the flyers. We can gum up the ground pretty well. Ew. <laughs> okay. Cloud Vid Raptors for days. Bone it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got. Bloodstained Buyer cracks it. Blood Crypt, untapped. Ugh, Grim Lava Mancer. That's actually an pretty annoying. Opponent passes. Well, Misty, Crack Misty. Breeding Pool, untapped. Yeah, Lava Mancer is really annoying. Get a, cl play a Cloudfin Raptor. Pass the turn. I feel like that's going to get shot down by Grim Lava Mancer. Black Leaf Cliffs. Goblin Lore, going to stock the graveyard. Well, all right. No Hollow Ones, please? Gets in. Well, we'll take it. Sure. 16. Opponent passes. Well, forest. Hmm. Let's just try to overload. Actually, we should play a two drop. I think we just strangle root. Strangle root geist. Grow cloud fin. Attack, attack. Opponent. 14. Pass the turn. We have our sneaky uses for the future. Opponent. Untaps. I guess if our opponent's spending their mana on our cloud fins, it's not the absolute end of the world. There's a mountain. Flame Lake Phoenix, but that means no Lava Mancer activation. All right, opponent gets in. Gets in. Sure. Down to 13. Well, we untap. Play Cloud Fin Raptor. Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Take a Temple Garden. Untapped. Scavenging Ooze. Grow the Cloud Fins. Attack. Opponent down to 10. The race is on. All right, opponent. Let's see it. Let's see it. Opponent untaps. They might feel like they have to kill this scavenging ooze. We've grown one cloud fin outside of Lava Man's range. Pretty fine with Strangaroot dying. A fetch land away from Renegade Rallying. Rallying? Rallying. Let's go with Rallying. Opponent. Come on. We haven't drawn a Neoform. I always want a Neoform. Neoform would still be insane. Like, Neoform, Sack, Strangle Root, get whatever three drop is just so good. Opponent, combat. Gets in, because it, yeah, you gotta. Hits us. Down to eight. Sure. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? I guess Lava Mancer damage is a concern. Three mana. All right, Slag Storm. Strangle Root returns. We're pretty okay with this. Play Scavenging Ooze. Eat Flame Wake. Gain a life. Get in with Strangle Root. Hit our opponent. Down to seven. Okay. Opponent. Looting. Uh-huh. If they don't deal with our Ooze, our Ooze is going to dominate this game. They need to kill the Ooze this turn. Or it's just going to become a 6-6 six -six and gain us a bunch of life. I guess the worst thing that can happen is they draw a way to kill Ooze, and they also hit a hollow one or two. That would be that would be bad news. Discards a Tassiger. Interesting. Okay, opponent. Gurmag Angler. Yeah, that's big. Can you kill the Ooze? Faithless Ooze is not dead. Looking for those hollow woods. 
They did delve away some creatures, but opponent passes. Well, we will eat a Cloudfin Raptor. Eat a Cloudfin Raptor. Go to combat. Ugh, we can't attack with both, can we? Attack with ooze. Opponent takes it to two. All right, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Two lethal threats on the battlefield. Fatal push on ooze. Okay, so we will hybridization. Opponent. Passing. Oh. Neoform. Hmm. Well, let's play experiment one. Neoform experiment one. Is Neoform coming through for the treasure chest? Yeah, we're going for it. Strangle Root Geist. Combat. And a post scoops it up! And we got the 3 1 with, or 3 2 with Neoform Evolve, which means the kids are eating. The kids are eating tonight. A treasure chest will be open. All right. That deck is sweet. We flood out sometimes, but boy, the deck has some really powerful draws. And when we have a Neoform, life is good. Well, that's uh, that's wrap up stuff. Let's crack a treasure chest. We talk about that in the wrap up. Here we go. One of one. We get. <laughs> okay. Five play points, a Kishmana's Lazatep Frog treasure <laughs> uh, vanguard, treasure vanguard, Nath of the Gilt Leaf, kind of a unique but not super popular commander, and a Thought Vessel. Is Thought Vessel worth anything? It is a commander staple. Thought Vessel is, eh, all right, 88 cents. It was a couple bucks, but it's came down. Well, not a super exciting chest, but good enough, good enough. Well, that deck is... It's pretty fun and pretty interesting. Neoform definitely adds a ton to it, but we'll talk about it in the wrap-up. Be right back. So what do we learn this week about Neoform Evolve in Modern? And we played a league with the deck. We ended up 3-2, and two, winning record, fed the kids, got a treasure chest, so a fine performance for the deck. Uh, if you look at our matchups, we lost to Grishelbrand, which... Yeah, that's going to happen. I mean, we got killed on turn two and then I think turn three or something. And that's what Grizzle Brand does. Like, if it gets its fast draw and you don't have exactly the right answer, and our deck doesn't have that many answers. We're not playing Surgical Extraction or anything. That's just going to happen in those matchups. So chalk that up to, yeah, that's what Grizzle Brand does sometimes. And then we also lost to the Rock, Green Black mid range. That one was really close, but our opponent just had a ton of removal and and we ended up going one and one into game three, and our opponent just drew enough removal. There was a key Maelstrom Pulse to kill two Clownfin Raptors that really shifted the game. Uh, and then once we get to the late game against a deck like that, our opponent just has more powerful cards. Our cards are fine and really great in the early game, but in the late game, it's hard to keep up with Liliana's and Kalidas's and just really strong removal spells. The good news is we took down Hollow One pretty easily. We took down Blue White Control very impressively in like a 16 turn game with Rass and I still can't believe we actually won that game and then we beat up on a Vanifar deck as well so a pretty sweet performance for the deck so the good news about the deck is kind of twofold first off the aggro starts can be really crazy like some games you just go like turn one cloud for raptor turn two young wolf ponga fire young wolf and you end turn two with like eight power on the battlefield and that's a lot for a deck to deal with even in a format like modern which is fast and powerful ending turn two with like eight or so power, and then having hasty threats and resilient threats to back it up, that's a legit game plan. So we have a legitimate aggro nut draw, and then Neoform is amazing for this deck. It is hard to overstate how much Neoform improves this archetype, so something we talked about in the intro is the deck has always had really good aggro draws. The problem is, it struggles around the edges. It struggles with fast combo. It struggles with certain cards. Neoform kind of solves that problem all by itself, because with Neoform we have all these silver bullets. If there's an ensnaring bridge, we can Knight of Autumn. If it's a combo deck, we can idle on a rhetoric. If it's Tron, we can get, like, Lavinia. If it's a tutor deck, we can get Aven Mindsets. If we're worried about Raz, we get Gaddock Tiger, Artifacts, Kataki. So the fact that Neoform, which is is fine in our deck anyway. Like, it is perfectly fine when we're like, sacrifice our young wolf, get a strangle root, guys, attack you. Like, that's 
that is value. That is fine value out of our deal form. On the other hand, it also gives us a chance to beat the decks that we would otherwise have a hard time beating. So very, very impressed with Neil form in this deck. On the other hand, one thing we ran into that was kind of frustrating is we had a weird tendency to flood out. The deck only has 21 lands. It has a ton of fetch lands, which should be thinning our deck and making it less likely to draw lands. But the deck doesn't really have card advantage. We can tutor with Neil form. We have like weird card advantage where our creatures come back into play once when they die, but we don't have anything that just draws us a card. So I'm kind of wondering if like a chart of course would be worth it or something because one way where it felt like our deck was kind of overmatched sometimes is the games where we just draw like eight lands or something and it's really hard to win if you're playing one drop aggro type decks and you end up drawing a mixture of like eight lands and four spells or something and that happens sometimes. So I'm wondering if a little bit of card draw, like some charter courses or something, just to fight through those pocket of lands, give us a little more consistency, if that would be worth it. I mean, the drawback is the cost would be cutting some threats. We wouldn't be able to play as many threats, and we want as many threats as possible, because the best thing our deck can do are those nut draws, where it's like the Undying Creature, and a, a Valve Creature, and a Pongify, and suddenly eight power on the board attacking you on turn three, with Neil Form to back it up. Those are the best draws of the deck, so we don't want to weaken those too much, but I still think it might be worth it to find a way to have some chart, of course, as something to draw a few cards, to try to make those games where we just run out of gas and flood out a little bit better because we don't have the reach that some stacks have. Uh, we don't have lightning bolts, anything like that to finish the game. So we are all in on our creatures getting there. And as our lead showed, we went three and two. It works. Like the deck worked very well. And I was very happy with it, especially when you consider the one was to Grizzlebrand, which if you're getting killed at turn two by Grizzlebrand, most decks are going to kill you. Uh, you're going to lose with most stacks in that scenario. So that one doesn't even make me feel bad about the deck at all. But I feel like maybe that's something that's worth considering. A little bit of card draw and chart, of course. Otherwise, if you like the archetype of Pongifies and Pelt Collectors and Experiment Ones and Nine Creatures, this seems a way to go. Neoform, great addition, makes the deck way better. It's fun to play. It's got those fast starts, but has some more tricks and resiliency with the tutor package. So overall, I really like Neoform Evolve. It's a sweet deck. It's a fun deck. It's not ridiculously expensive, although it's also not super cheap, like our budget version. But but if you're looking to upgrade some of the budget versions, I would definitely head this direction, maybe with some charter courses thrown in as well. So anyway, that's been our much approved for this week, Neoform Evolve for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.